This is a good start off. How does your Mark Seven breather plate work? What is the main flaw in the OEM system that your plate solve your your plate solves? So this this uh, there was some controversy uh, this week uh, on Facebook about our plate and and comparing our plate uh, or our breather. This is a breather plate provision uh, comparing ours to a, com a competitor product. There's a competitor product that has a tube that connects from here back to the valve cover. And uh, some people on Facebook were saying that because we eliminated that tube, there's no way oil will drain out of this. Well, the way things drain, things never drain from the top, right? So a tube connected to the top of this would not be able to drain anything. So then, then it begs the question, well, what is that tube for? And there was some pretty basic misunderstanding of how the breather system worked that, that we were able to address and I think clear up. Um, <clears throat> so the, the tube that goes and connects uh, is, is to a, a separate, well, it, it's like over here, and it, it connects to a separate port um, that goes down into the, the engine block, which is the factory PCV system. So as uh, the crankcase pressure develops inside the engine block, the factory created a, a PVC provision um, which uh, a PCV, which which is um, basically PCV is a system that controls crankcase pressure, and uh, so the, the factory uh, PCV system. Did I say PVC at first? I lost you. Lost me at the, the, okay. the P's and the C's. The the PCV, anyways, comes up and goes to this port, and inside the block is the factory air oil separator mechanism. Here, here's here's the problem. It don't work. Okay, not so enough. The entire reason we have all this is because the factory PCV system doesn't work. So when we designed our breather plate assembly, the last thing we wanted to do is to connect the poorly functioning factory PCV system. So we eliminated that. And just about every other company who's come up with a solution has done the same. And most importantly, Volkswagen Racing did this I was wondering if you're in, in their, yeah, in their like, official race cars. You can literally look at any of the uh, yeah. DCR cars and, and see we, how we've, they've implemented we've it. raced, you know, some factory uh, Volkswagen Audi vehicles, and, and we've had the pleasure and fortune of, of learning a lot from how the factory did it. So then, so then if you look at the factory um, PCV diagram system, it makes it look like if you disconnect that, there's no way air can get out of the block, and this is basically sealing off the engine. Well, that's not true, because inside the cylinder head is oil, and that oil has to get back down to the sump. And the sump is where all the oil resides, and that's where the oil pump pickup is. And so there, there are all these oil galleyways that go down from inside the cylinder head where this connects, so the bottom of this and these, these perforated holes connect to the, the air that's inside the cylinder head. That, that air is connected to the engine block through all these oil galleyways. So pressurized air from the block can travel up through these oil galleyways, which are not sealed off by oil or anything. I mean, it just allows oil to drain. Yeah, they're, they're essentially like half-inch tubes all around the... They're, they're the way bigger than they need to be. From top to bottom. Air moves freely through that while oil is draining. And that's how the, the crankcase pressure enters our plate here through these holes and then goes inside what we call the doghouse, which has an air oil separator mechanism inside here that sends clean, fresh um, crankcase air back into the intake system. Well, it goes into our catch can and then back into the intake system. Yeah. This is an excellent way to, to, to ensure that you keep all the oil out of your intake system. It's, it's proven, we've tested it on track, Volkswagen Racing tested it extensively, used it in racing. Uh, we haven't like really reinvented the wheel here, we've just executed it very well at a reasonable price in a very high quality fashion. Um, so the one competitor product that does connect to the factory PCV, you know, if, if you've got that product on your car and it's working, then great, but th that doesn't, it might mean that it works well enough, but it doesn't mean it's better. Yeah, it doesn't mean that one, all everything else is invalid because that's yeah. the way they chose to, to design their part. So if, if they were able to make that work, great. But um, for us, getting getting rid of the factory PCV system was was an improvement in this regard. So that's why we did it this way. And again, we know it works. We tested it. It's, well, it's, it's the way we got rid of the PCV system. We got rid of their, their oil separator path. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't yeah, it's not it's, like we've eliminated their whole, you know, 
Right, it, it, and that and Nate's exactly right. It, really, the PCV is this air oil separator that doesn't even work. That's why you get the huge puffs of smoke out the, the tailpipe. All right, um, I think we addressed that.